college final four in basketball is set being number one in men's lacrosse not always the best thing this season the women make sports center again and the nll has five weeks left this is lax unlimited weekly march 27th welcome we have so much to cover the final four in men's basketball is set very cool to see new teams in the top four this year, kind of like the theme of the Division I men's season. You got Gonzaga, Oregon, South Carolina, and UNC. The three teams, I know Oregon's been in it before, but the other two have not been in it yet. Very cool to see, it's not the usual suspects. UNC is the only one. 20th Final Four appearance, ninth under Coach Williams. Awesome to see, I'm pushing for the Tar Heels. Bill Day is my guy, so let's go Heels. Before I dive into all the fun stuff that happened this weekend, we have a LU podcast coming out soon, and we need your help naming it. So to help us and help you, we have a giveaway. Custom Command Low Awesome Ultra Die that J-Man in the die room really knocked out of the park. Awesome looking head. Comment below the name of the podcast that you should think we should name it. Um, we have myself as a host. There'll be guys in and out, and I believe there's a special guest, special host. We're not going to announce it yet. So tune into that. Comment below what you think the podcast should be, and let's get into this weekend. Craziness all over the place. Looks like being number one this season is not always the best thing. They go down the next week, and then we got a new one. So on that note, Rutgers falls hard to Delaware 13-9. The media got to their head that they took this game way too lightly, and look what happened, 13-9. Championship rematch, I bet Maryland wished they showed up like this last Memorial Day. They pounded them, 15-7. The attack, I believe, run DMC, as Quint calls it, had 11 points out of the 15. Those guys are looking good. Uh, Denver bounced back, beating Towson 11-10. Then we had the overtime Kings, Syracuse again, the third overtime game, I believe. Salcedo with the assist, he scored one, he assisted one. Now he assisted another. That kid, my vote for the MVP this year, the Tewarton, whatever. We had that, we also had Hopkins beating Virginia, missed call, we won't bring that up. Uh, Hopkins get a, gets a win at home with big time win. So Ohio State drops its first loss to a tough Notre Dame team playing at Arlotta is very hard. 12 to 7. They did make ESPN though. That was pretty cool. The Turnpike kids staying undefeated beating St. John's 9 to 6. Those guys are looking very good. Quarterfinals at Hofstra this year. That'd be a nice home field advantage. Other quick notables. The Villanova Wildcats surging. Four game win streak started out 1 and 4. They'll keep rolling. Army, very sneaky. Another win against UMass, a gritty win against UMass. They're 8-1, very cool. That brings me to my top five for this week. I'm sure it's gonna change next week because the curse of number one. Starting at number five, I got Cuse. Four, Ohio State. Three, Notre Dame. Two, Hofstra. One, Penn State. I'm sure it's gonna be Hofstra next week and then Hofstra will lose to like St. Mary's but we'll see what happens. Women, on the women's side, the Sports Center Kings. Fake behind the back goal happened. That one was really, really cool. Check that out. You got Notre Dame down in Cuse, 16 to seven. Northwestern defeats Louisville, 12 to eight. UVA over Duke. Uh, you had Dyson and Jackson combining for six points each. Then you had Penn State taking down Hopkins. Always loved that. Madison Carter had six goals for Penn State. And Steph Lazo with five. Can't forget about her. That's what happened for the women. Men, step it up. Hashtag Sports Center. We want to see more of them. Although Ohio State didn't make it. Doesn't count when you lose, so whatever. Then you have a pick 'em for this week. Big Ten, Big Ten, Big Ten game. You have Penn State, Ohio State. My guess is it's going to be a tight one, but I think Penn State comes away with it. Uh, on the women's side, we have Notre Dame and UNC. I'm going to pick the Tar Heels. Let those ladies keep rolling, and we'll see what happens. Comment below your thoughts. NLL, big, big weekend. Six games this weekend. Some teams played twice. Toronto was one of them. Huge wins for them. They beat the Swarm and the Stealth. Schreiber, Hickey, and LeBlanc. LeBlanc? Uh, had a huge weekend, all combining for 30 points. That's insane in two games. Rush split their games this weekend, losing to Colorado, then picking up a win against Calgary. 
Then we had the Roughnecks also managed to pick up a win Saturday against New England Black Bulls. Big Bill O'Brien. Every time I see that guy's Snapchat, he's suspended. I'm just saying. All right, product of the week. Let's move on. Product of the week is going back to the die giveaway for naming our podcast. J-Man in the die room. USA Ultra. Navy stars inside. Very clean. Very crisp. You ladies out there, keep an eye out. All the new women's tees are coming out this week. So check online and in your local stores. You'll be able to pick one up. Look fresh for the season, for the year. So speaking of giveaways, we got to go back to last week's. Thanks for all you guys unfollowing Rob and following me. That still is going on. It's always brownie points when there's a giveaway. If I see you unfollow Rob, it's a plus. I'll pick you. You'll be in it. But let's get away uh, for the winners. NYPD, FDNY. We got Sam Ward winning the NYPD and Easton Bates winning the FDNY. So please message, message, message us on Instagram your information and we will ship these bad boys out as soon as possible. All right, there you have it. Giveaways are set. Winners, com uh, contact us. Let us know where you live. We'll send it to you. Um, comment below anything I missed, anything you want to see. Uh, there you have it. That's it. I'll see you next week. End line, very cool. Sad to see Darnell go. He hasn't left yet. So that podcast, I'm always right about Hopkins. I met Big Cat, no big deal. Me and Big Cat hanging out in the dog park. That was really cool. Green screen, let's do the Instagram shot. Me and Big Cat, we're best friends. He asked where I lived, I told him. I looked like even more of a psychopath. He's like, oh, dog park in Brooklyn. You're from the other side of the island. Just very cool. <laughs> I'm starving. No, I got gushers. Oh, he's tacked. I can't think of anything else. I'll see you later.